Hi there, folks. It's UFO Bob, and I've got one question for you. Are you planning to buy a Canon 80D? Now, I have a Canon 60D, and it's been a good camera, but I've been wanting to move up to the next level. I was planning to buy a Canon 70D, but I changed my mind, and here's why. Let's start by unboxing. The Canon 80D kit includes the camera body, an 18mm to 135mm lens, an LC E6 battery charger, a LP EGM battery, a wide strap, and of course, the usual assortment of paperwork. There are a lot of reasons why I like the Canon 80D. First, it's a 24 megapixel camera, unlike the 70D, which is only 20. Next is the Digic 6 processor, which provides enhanced image quality, especially in low light conditions. And combined with a dual pixel CMOS, you get smoother, faster, and more accurate autofocus. For those who need to work in low light conditions, you'll be happy to know that the ISO is now 16,000 native. And if necessary, you can push it up to 25,600. For those who like and need custom settings, you'll be happy to know that the 80D has two custom setting buttons, unlike the 70D, which only has one. Finally, like the 70D, the ADD has a 3-inch very angle touchscreen LCD monitor. That's pretty cool. As for the body, there are some subtle changes. For example, compared to the 70D, the ADD hand grips are more substantial, at least in my opinion. Next, the Q, play, and trash buttons are now round, not square, and stand out a bit more. As for the built-in microphones, they have been moved to the front of the camera. On the 70D, they are by the viewfinder. Plus, now there's a headphone jack to monitor audio. This is a much needed addition for those who shoot video. As for the menu system, it's been streamlined. On the 70D, you had 15 tabs. Now, on the 80D, there are only five tabs with submenus. Also, I find the new typeface easier to read. The kit I purchased came with an EFS 18 to 135 millimeter F 3.5 to 5.6 IS USM lens. Now, for those who don't know, IS stands for image stabilization and USM stands for ultrasonic motor, which is the new nanotechnology. This will allow you to zoom electronically in video mode. When it comes to focusing, the ADD has a 45 point all cross AF focusing system. That's more than double of the 70D, which only has 19. This will be a great advantage, especially when shooting action photos. For those of you who shoot video, you'll be happy to know that the ADD shoots 1080p at 60 frames per second. This means you can now shoot slow motion. And as noted earlier, the ADD now has a headphone jack. This will finally allow you to monitor your audio while you are shooting. Also, one feature I really like is the in-camera time-lapse mode. I think this is really cool. And there are a variety of real-time video filters such as old movie, memory, dramatic monochrome, and miniature. Plus, the movie servo AF custom settings allow users to speed up or slow down focusing speeds. That's pretty cool. As for the burst mode, there's no difference between the 70D and the 80D. However, the ADD does have an increased buffer rate, which is good if you're planning to shoot a lot of photos in succession. 
As far as Wi-Fi and NFC, well, like the 70D, the 80D has Wi-Fi, but it also now has NFC, Near Field Communication. This will allow you to use your mobile phone to help set up the connection. Just tap your phone to the camera and you get the connection. Pretty cool. Unfortunately for me, I'm still using an iPhone 4. Looks like it's time for an upgrade. Finally, I've noticed that the dynamic range, the difference between the brightest and the darkest areas of a photo, is greater. It's improved. This means you'll have more latitude in improving an overexposed or an underexposed image, especially when shooting and editing in raw format. Bottom line, I think the Canon 80D is a great camera, especially for folks like me. Folks who need to do both photography and video and all by themselves. As I said, I was going to buy the 70D, but for $500 more, I think I got better value with a Canon 80D. Well, until next time, this is UFO Bob.